my experience of cutting brains for 18 years, I can tell you when the tissue is good and when the tissue is bad. It's not uh, icy, it's not, it's, it's, it's perfect. I came from Cuba. I was 23 years old, 1970, if I remember. The first job that I did have, I didn't have the complete education. I did start work in housekeeping department, cleaning floors and patient floors. And early in my life, doing this job, my husband died by heart attack, and I need to to keep going very hard, raising my daughters. And I have in the family, I had two in in, in the family. They 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 try to commit suicide. One is my sister-in-law, and one is um, my stepson. like a piece I have, see? And then... I see a person there, and I'm asking myself why this person had to, to die. And I, I cry, and, and the cry is that the people don't see me, what I'm doing, because this room is pretty far from everybody. And it doesn't matter how much time I, I, I am here or how much time I'm going to spend here doing the same work, but I still feel very, very sorry for all these people. Proud about myself that we all this difficulty in, in, in life that I did, I made it. I made it, I feel very proud. Leave my country, leave my family, lost my husband, raised my children by myself with no much education and try so hard to get to where I am now. It wasn't easy and, and thank God I'm still here. But uh, that's what we, we like from all these people. All the ways we find a way how to get through in life and no matter what but it's so difficult to understand. It's very difficult. And, but the one day I think we are going to get there. <laughs>